What's going on, everybody? It's Nick Payne with Face Mask Fantasy. And as we move into redraft for 2022, we'll profile some players and how we feel about them ahead of the season. If there's any one player you want us to profile, let us know in the comments section and we'll be sure to cover him. Up today, Lions rookie wide receiver Jamison Williams. The 12th overall pick of the 2022 NFL Draft joins a Lions team still very much looking to the future, but they've established some key building blocks and are trending in the right direction. Williams was highly thought of in the pre-draft process, but a torn ACL suffered in the national championship game put a bit of a damn on his potential year one outlook. Still, it wasn't enough to discourage Detroit from making him the fourth receiver off the board and a player with draft capital in the top half of the first round. As I just mentioned, this is a team looking to the future, so they don't mind having to wait on a very promising player. But as Williams works his way back, what's his 2022 outlook and his chances to have a fantasy impact as a rookie? When he's at full strength, Williams offers elite level speed and very good footwork at the line of scrimmage. He's a bit of a one-year wonder in college, but when you total 1,500 receiving yards and 15 touchdowns for a perennial powerhouse at Alabama, you're gonna raise some eyebrows. If he's able to bounce back from the ACL injury and contribute at the NFL level, Williams is a perfect complement to what the Lions have already built on offense. Detroit already has blossoming stars in DeAndre Swift, TJ Hawkinson, and Amon Ra St. Brown. Adding a talent in Williams who can take the top off and create separation on the outside all but completes the Lions group of skill players. With St. Brown figuring to work primarily as a slot receiver, Williams has the inside track to be the Lions' X receiver for years to come. But there's a chance that may not happen this year. The Lions have plenty of pieces on offense to compete, but Jared Goff is probably not the long-term answer at quarterback, and the defense is still very much a work in progress. Coming off a 3-13-1 campaign in 2021, Detroit is likely, at best, the third best team in their own division. They're looking to the future, and with that in mind, they'll be cautious with their first round pick. Williams is not going to be ready for training camp, which naturally puts him behind the eight ball as far as being a rookie trying to get up to speed with the playbook and getting into game shape. It's possible, maybe even likely, that he doesn't suit up for the first few weeks of the season. The Lions were clearly comfortable with taking Williams in the first round after reviewing the medical records following the ACL tear. So maybe Jamison's absence isn't an extended one, but the average return to play following such an injury is about 11 months, and he suffered it in January. That means a best case scenario might be that Williams can't play until November, and we can't rule out that the Lions might be out of the playoff race by then. With that said, I have serious concerns we could see a redshirt season for Williams and that his NFL career doesn't get started until the 2023 season. He's obviously a hold in dynasty leagues, but it's hard to get behind the idea of drafting him for 2022 redraft. With an ADP of about 135 on underdog fantasy, that's certainly an affordable risk to take, but it's exactly that, a risk. If he's able to accumulate something along the lines of 40 catches and 500 yards, that's probably a monumental success. Anything more is unrealistic, and anything less can't possibly be held against him. Williams has big-time upside and very intriguing long-term potential, but his rookie season is not shaping up to be bursting with performances that will lead you to firing him up into your starting lineup for your fantasy team, even if you draft him as a wide receiver five or six. I am passing this year and then pouncing in 2023 when he's much more likely to be a huge value. That's a very quick look at Jamison Williams' potential outlook for his rookie season. What do you guys think? Put any thoughts you have in the comment section below, and we can have a conversation about this. We also host live streams on our channel each Tuesday and Thursday, all off season long at 6 p.m. Eastern. Come hang out, come get any questions answered you may have, or feel free to bring up any general fantasy topics you wish to discuss. Till then, this is Nick with Face Mask Fantasy. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening.